Hi, my name is Clay with uh, Elite Collegiate Planning, and I'm here with my boss, Dave Kozak. Thanks for being here, Dave. Absolutely. Uh, and I just wanted to do a quick little video here, um, asking Dave questions that maybe people are wondering and that I've learned since working here. Um, so, Dave, the whole college game, as we say now, is a lot deeper than a lot of people understand. There's a lot more layers to it, and it's not just pick a school you can afford by its price when you Google it. Mm -hmm. And what I've learned just from being here so far is that there's a lot of options for families that they didn't think were possible. Yeah. So to start off, what would you say made you decide you wanted to be able to help these families go to college and fulfill these dreams? Yeah, so uh, I had what I call the ultimate college experience. I was in a fraternity, I played baseball, I was a dual major, I had, I mean, I basically had everything that you could possibly want. And as a financial planner, I was giving advice and the advice wasn't always sound. Um, and that is not a good position to be in. And telling people to buy five to nines without knowing the outcome or, or what the reality of that situation would be, I think it creates some... Um, concern and so my idea to alleviate the concern was let's figure this game out and then let's start there so uh, I, I kind of am in college planning uh, because I needed to get there uh, and I found a passion when I got there and so the reality is college planning is a huge part of an entire uh, plan from you know the day your kids born to the day you die and how wealth transfer occurs and all that so you have to play it as it comes at you, and college is the first thing, the first major major financial milestone that most people have to achieve. Right, and and coming from someone who recently has graduated and recently been through the whole college, you know, um, process, mm -hmm. I found that for myself, I could have used a lot more guidance and a lot more help, and and just wanted to you know talk with you about how would you say the company and yourself are able to kind of wrap your arms around the family and help guide them through this process that for most people is kind of unchartered. Yeah. So when, when I started down the college pathway, uh, you know, I was doing what everybody did. You, you put the five to nines in place and you tell people to save as much money as they can and you figure it out when you get there. But the idea that just finance alone is good enough to get a family to uh, afford college is what is now, what I know now is completely false. You have to really look at curriculum. You have to look at what you're studying. You have to look at the schools that you want to go to, the majors you're interested in. Um, there is a lot of academic work at the high school level that is, uh, it's attempted at high schools, but I don't think it's actually achieved. You know, right. they do their best to try and guide children to, the best possible outcome but in you know the school district we're in my family's in downingtown and you graduated from the stem academy yep. and they do the best they can but that's a lot of people to help and they're overworked and uh it, it doesn't happen the way it should and so what i realized early uh really 2012 was that i not only need to help families understand the financial impact but I need to help the children make a sound decision on the appropriate school for them. So we've combined some of the student planning services, some of the financial planning services, and really brought together what I think is a very solid platform to help both the child, the parent, the academic pursuit, the finance, and the marriage between the two of them. And We've also enabled conversations that otherwise wouldn't happen. Um, there's a lot of things that um, kids don't understand. You know, they're emotionally immature for making such a big decision. And so the way we, we approached it for years was, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Isn't it better to ask a child what they enjoy? Mm -hmm. Help them understand what they may want to do uh, rather than just force them to make a decision that they're inequipped to make. Um, so we really try and help the kids understand themselves, put themselves in a position to uh, excel in this and to find an institution that is right for them, you know, and then right for them academically and right for the family financially. That is where this all comes together. Right. Um, 
because you know if you make a poor a poor choice academically you could fail out at worst or not excel or graduate um and if you make a poor choice financially you're paying back college loans in retirement or your kid is saddled with a, you know an incredible amount of debt so uh, making sure that student services are sound and the conversations and the planning are spot on with the choice of school is is really the key to this whole thing. And I mean, for myself, you know, I studied finance and, and business, but I've also always liked helping people. So when you graduate, it's kind of an interesting time to realize there aren't very many outlets where you can work in a job that does both, you know, finance business side, but also helping people. And I realized very early on, just from a few phone calls with clients, that this is not a long down the road sight of seeing gratification. You know, it's not a deal we do and then 15 years later we see, oh, this worked. It's it's soon when, when families are able to send their kids to college and it's really gratifying. And I know you definitely have seen that over the time doing this, the decades of doing it. Yeah, there's, you know... I one of my first mentors in business said to me that uh, the quality of a financial plan is never known until 25 years after it's been created. And the thought of wait and see just doesn't settle with me. And so uh, college is one of those things where the financial decisions, you, you almost know instantaneously. You know, you very, um, it, you know, whether your kid's in, in second grade or 10th grade, it's not a long period of time until that plan comes to fruition. And if you've done it wrong, you'll know pretty quickly, you know, based on the amount of debt that you'll have to take. So our focus is really always trying to get the families into a situation that they understand the outcome, right? Both financially and academically. Um, so it, it is, a, it is a, a faster return on quality of plan than it is uh, from a retirement plan. You know, that could be 30, 45, 50 years until that plan comes to fruition. Um, and right smack dab in the middle of it is college. Right. So it's, it's definitely something where you see the benefit quicker than you do on, on say, a financial plan. You know, especially in the environment we're in right now with coronavirus and all that stuff. Um, you know, people are now experiencing the 2008-like losses right. uh, in their 401ks and things like that. And, and that can have a devastating consequence to comfort, to the, the willingness to pay and all of that. So... Um, I think it's very important to realize that, you know, this is a hurdle that has to be overcome and it's a financial hurdle as much as and most families go through it. Yeah. Most, if you've got children, you're probably talking to them about college from the day they're born. So, um, you're going to face it and get ahead of it by all means. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dave. And, uh, if you guys like this video, we got a few more on our channel, um, share it, you know, like subscribe, um, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Take care.